iPhone 8 rumors claim that we might expect more than two devices. Microsoft just uh, took the stage to surprise us with a new approach to hardware, and Google says that it's working on fixing the halo effect on its pixels. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, could it be that this is the first time that I'm actually crazy about a desktop that I probably will not be able to just buy? This is Now Daily. The official news today have to do with the Xiaomi Mi Mix. I hate the names, so we've got to love the phone. A lot of people are saying that uh, Xiaomi is innovating with a design that's rumored for the iPhone 8. I think we're too far to even assume that that's going to be the design. But wow, this phone is gorgeous. It's everything we want on an Android phone that's simply not going to be launched in the United States. And for those of you that are wondering if it ever will, according to sources from Xiaomi in a recent interview on Reddit, it won't because apparently it's not convenient or apparently there's no market. Uh, that was a weird argument, but anyways, that's the thing. And for those of you that are wondering who the king of the smartwatch market is, Apple continues to be that company with 43% of the market. But uh, the second place in the smartwatch realm is not for Android Wear, not for Samsung Tizen watches. No, believe it or not, it's Garmin. And Garmin only makes one smartwatch that I actually like. The rest of them are, I don't know. But anyways, it seems that that is the case right now. Smartwatch makers really need to step up their game. Now let's talk about Google. Two things about the Pixel. Number one, the company acknowledges that it was implanting so much overwhelming demand of the Pixel. We've heard this before, by the way, with Nexus devices. But anyway, there is so much overwhelming demand that uh, the company's having delays. But the second is that for those of you that are having lens flare issues with your photos, uh, yeah, Google is saying that it's working on it. Hopefully that doesn't involve some sort of a recall. Now let's move the spotlight over to Apple. For those of you that are wondering what the iPhone 8 will look like, and we talked about it at the beginning, well, the design is really not the thing, but apparently we are getting three iPhones this year, according to some very trusted sources. And it makes all the sense of the world. If you think of it, the iPhone SE at some point will need a refresh. And it would just be awesome if Apple would launch an iPhone SE-like design, meaning size, that's comparable to whatever iPhone 8 is going to look like and just make a full revamp across the lineup. But we'll see if that ends up happening in the end. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with Microsoft. I just arrived back from their event. There is a lot of cool being shown here. Yeah, we saw a new Surface Book, at least some updates to the i7. Uh, we're not getting a new Surface Pro 4. We saw more about what to expect for Windows 10 Creative Edition. Uh, we saw Paint 3D, etc. But the coolest thing here were two things. Believe it or not, yes, the Surface Studio is awesome, it's gorgeous, but to be honest with you, what I'm most excited about from this event is that Surface Dial. That simple concept that you have something that's not a mouse, it's not a pen and put, it's not a trackpad, it's just something completely unique to help you take more advantage of what you can do with a touchscreen. Uh, I found that to be the most awesome thing announced today, and especially for its price tag, but it leads me to the question of the day. Are you excited for anything that was announced today from Microsoft or are you waiting to see what Apple announces tomorrow? Yeah, I'm waiting to see what Apple announces tomorrow, but I don't think they're going to come up with a dial. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on Pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.